Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be doing a review on my POC VPD Air knee pads. These are the soft version. So towards the beginning of the year, I said, we're gonna be testing my new VPD Air uh, knee pads. I've taken one too many falls and I decided to go ahead and get one of these. They are super light and I've ridden with them a couple times. And uh, I'm gonna put out a video review on them when I've used them more and I feel that I can actually give an objective opinion about them. So here we are. It's been about 10 months and I've gotten about 1300 miles riding with these. That is, I have no idea, countless hours. And since, well, since I've gotten all that experience on them, I've crashed in them, I've, I think I can finally give you a pretty good solid opinion on what I think about these. Let's go ahead and take a look at the crash reel first. So you know the kind of element I expose these to. And once we're done with that, then we'll dig into the review. Well, tested out the knee pads. They work. That was a bad one. Well, I hadn't crashed like that in quite some time. I have no idea what happened. I just lost my hands at one point, I think. Testing out the knee pads, see they worked great. Landed on top of them, absolutely no pain there. So, thumbs up on those. You sure you good? Yeah, I'm good. That's gonna hurt tomorrow. So as you can probably see, those crashes were not only ordered chronologically, but also in order of severity. Uh, that third one hurt like hell. I can tell you I felt it for the whole Crested Butte trip, but I was not going to let it get in the way of riding. Now, I took all these pictures a few days after I actually had that crash so that you had a point of comparison. And I know the slow motion is not great, but it still gives you an idea. I kind of landed simultaneously on my left knee and on my hip. Uh, both dragged on the ground a bit. And uh, you can tell in the pictures of that my unpadded hip took a significant uh, impact in comparison to what my knee took. They both got scraped, but my knee, which is a lot more delicate really, uh, had a minor injury. So the one on my knee got cured in a couple days, but the one on my hip, it took about, I'd say, two or three weeks to heal 100%. Just because since it was such a large area, it took a long time to develop some scabbing. So, you know, it kept on going forever. So just by looking at that, you already get a clear indicative. Just in scrape protection, you get this huge difference. And uh, one took me a couple days to solve and the other I had to actually nurse for a couple weeks. So the knee pads really do work. But I'm getting ahead of myself. So let's actually talk about the review itself and who I think these knee pads are for. So this is the main thing that I want to get across to you. These things are really good, but they are not downhill knee pads. This is what you get when you want a compromise between comfort, mobility, and protection. They're completely flexible, as you can tell. You know, I can flex them in half, but that doesn't mean that they don't protect. The actual padding is quite thick, but it's one of those materials that gets harder when it gets impacted and remains soft when it doesn't. Now, here's my experience. I ride with these all the time, and as you probably know, I live in Florida, so I pedal a lot. I do not feel these when I'm pedaling about 95% of the time. And in situations where there's extreme heat, they do tend to stick a tiny bit at the top just because they have this material to avoid slippage when you're wearing them. They don't hold on perfectly, but we'll get a little bit more into that in a second. Breathability, these are the lightest ones I've ever used and I've compared them to a few others that somebody's had and uh, they actually ended up changing to these because of what I told them while we were riding and they're pretty happy about it. The back is pretty open and it's a light fabric and the front is decently padded and uh, it, it does okay, you know, it can get wet and everything and I've never really had any issues. So as you can probably tell, you slide it onto your leg, it's not open on the back and then uh, you use this Velcro to fix it in the top. Now, there is something worth noting here. It hasn't happened to me, but I have heard from a few people that they've had this knee pad slide down when they were going really, really fast and they landed kind of on the top and then pushed it down. So that one's a little bit debatable and I'm not gonna give you a clear answer on whether I think they were using it in the right situation or not. I just want you to know about it and uh, the fact that it's happened to a few people so that you can you know, make your own choice about this because this is what really matters in the end. 
my opinion is just my opinion and while I'm, while I'm very happy with the comfort that these provide me in a balance with protection there won't be for everyone because I can tell you right now if you're a downhill guy forget about these you know no point at all uh, you need a hard shell and uh, if you're like a cross-country guy and you want 100% speed and you don't really want to bother with anything then I'd say probably don't wear them either because you're in a situation where you will feel them because you're 100% about pedaling now for most of us and I don't race I don't do any of that stuff I just want to have fun I think this provides a superb balance between protection and comfort and for me that's what I was looking for and I think that is the person who should buy these so if you're kind of like the same rider I am if you like to have fun you like to do a little bit of the gnarly stuff here and there maybe hit some jumps you know if you've seen some of my other videos I'm not a superb jumper but I do some jumps here and there and I still feel like they protect me a little bit from that kind of stuff so I think for the general rider what they call enduro nowadays these are really really good there's some exceptions, you know, if you're like insanely fast, maybe you should consider something with a little bit of a better fixation. That's my only kind of gripe on them. It's balanced by the fact that they're very easy to put on and off. So in conclusion, I am very happy I have these. I've compared them with a few other options in the market. I'm not going to mention them by name just because I haven't gone into detail with those other ones. And as you can probably tell by how long it took me to actually get to do this video, I really like to take my time with reviews just so that I can get you an opinion of somebody who's actually written in the product a long time. I don't get sponsored by anyone. I do this because I think it's fun. So I just want honesty ahead of everything. So guys, that's it. That's basically all I have for you for today. So if you're interested in getting these, I actually placed a little link down below and I do get a tiny commission from referring you to that. I think it's a fair warning that I tell you. But uh, truth be told, uh, the only reason I'm doing this review is because I actually write in them. If I didn't write in them all the time, and you can actually go through all my videos, there's a bunch of moments when I'm sitting up or standing down on the bike where you can kind of see them on the corner when the gimbal moves around. If I didn't wear them all the time, I wouldn't do the review. So if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to shoot them in the comments section and I will help you as long as I, I can. And if I don't know the answer, I'll try to guide you in a direction where you can find it yourself. So I'll see you for the next one and happy riding.